based on the letter from the borough and comments from Bob and from other people about can we get this left turn lane southbound to Chartier Street and what are the ramifications of that? They did multiple things. They had McCormick Taylor go out and do counts during the peak times. So these weren't just random times. This was 7 to 9 a.m., 4 to 6 p.m., you know, your, your, your peak rush hour times. And their data said um, they observed zero left turns in the a.m. So in the morning, nobody's coming southbound on Washington Avenue and making that left turn on Chartiers. That's not to say that maybe there isn't some pent-up demand if people are using Station Street or Bower Hill to make their way towards South St. Clair or wherever they're going. But the actual volume today was zero. Maybe it is because it's difficult, but if there was a really high demand for it, there would have been some there. Um, and then during the PNP hour, they have to 14. So based on that, PennDOT's opinion was that um, there's not a huge demand for that turn lane. But let's look at it and see, can we get something in there? Can we get a minimum length, 50, 75 foot turn lane in there? And what does that mean to the project? Basically, what, what would have to happen is, because of the physical location of the church, regardless of right, the physical location of it, the widening of Washington Avenue to put a full width left turn lane in there would have to be pushed towards the right angle. The other thing that ends up happening is what you really want to do is you want to, you want to you want that winding mostly to go towards the church. Because the main part of this project is all of the alignment that's happening here. So you have lanes down here on Washington Pike that are coming northbound. You have lanes that have to line up to go through on Washington Pike this way. You have lanes that want to come on to 50. You have a right turn lane, you want to drop it and come on to Chartier Street. All of that right now works with the concepts that we put together and the pen that's working on. From an alignment standpoint, with the lanes that are coming in and out of Bridgeville, even though there's four of them, and we're going to go to seven. Because this intersection will end up being so wide that we can do a lot of our transitioning through it. So if you would see in our concepts, which maybe don't show up on here, there's very little actual widening at the throat here of the existing four lane section in Bridgeville. There would be a little bit at the beginning, but you're essentially tied back to that four lane section, almost right here. So you're not really impacting the church, the right end, or anything from an alignment or construction standpoint. Once we shift this way, that whole thing snowballs. So if I shift this way to put that left turn lane in, I've now shifted my through lanes here, which then causes these to shift, which then causes these to have to shift, and the whole thing ends up snowballing down the line. It's not one of those things where we can just make the line, the, the lanes line up, because we want them to. They physically have to line up. They have to transition at certain rates based on the speed limits. Um, and, and roadway design criteria. So we're limited on what can we do physically here and horizontally here to make them line up. Based on all those things, and at the meeting on July 19th, um, PennDOT said, hey, we don't think that, that the cost is justified based on the demand, even though it would make sense to have that because you're going to have that phenomenon that Bob talked about. Someone wants to turn left there. People get stuck behind them, you know, it's going to happen a few times. One thing you will have those, there will be a little bit of a transition area here where it's, where it's starting to transition down, so it's not going to be a formal lane, but there is going to be some room there for something that maybe doesn't, knows what's happening there, not to sit exactly in the through lane, maybe not impact things as much as they would otherwise. But their opinion was where we're at in the process, the money that's secured the money that they spent and the money that they think they can secure to finish the project, potentially adding another million dollars to it, gave them some pause and some current concern about this project being something that's going to happen within the next, realistically, three to five years, to so being something that maybe is more towards the four to eight year mark.